you know, two of the questions. One is, you know, can brand control or, or e-control at least on sales, you know, negatively impact the sale of clearance items? So it's almost like in this brave new world, and maybe you can speak to some of your experience with some massive um, CBGs on this front, Whitney. I, I know that we've, you know, spoken before in abstracts around this kind of discounting policy and training the customer through discounts. What happens if that goes away or what, you know, do you end up with a bunch of inventory that you can't get rid of? So, so how does it affect that? The second one, it says, um, you know, limiting distribution can limit exposure on a new brand. How does utilizing limited distribution on a product get the exposure for a brand that they need in terms of more consumer exposure to generate the volume necessary? So I think there's two things here. One is, is brand control going to negatively affect this natural cadence of discounting or, or clearance items? And two, is, is control going to limit the distribution that would be necessary to get awareness of the brand? So maybe you can speak to, to both of those. Yeah, sure. So, you know, when I look at, like, like what is e, when I, when we talk a lot about what is e-control, the way I define it is sort of protecting your brand equity and helping a brand reach optimal distribution in the age of e-commerce. And optimal distribution for, for most brands does not mean 100% implementing every single control lever that exists. Brands do engage in clearance. Brands do engage in promotion. But the way I view it a lot uh, when I'm talking to a brand is you, know, you want to take your levels of control up right to the point where the benefits that you're getting from the control outweigh the burden and cost that the that that brand is incurring by implementing those controls but if it starts to get to a point where for example most brands are not going to go and say i need all my let's say i got a thousand distributors and they're selling to a hundred sellers each i'm not going to go get every distributor to sign up to an agreement i'm not going to get every distributor to ask the people they're signing up to an agreement you know, the, 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 the burden on the organizations, the cost of doing that is far, you know, that's far greater than the benefits that I'm going to get, than I'm, the benefits that I'm going to get on doing that. So on the clearance items, you know, are those items where I would, I would discuss, is this an item where controlling the price is really important online today? Or is this a skew or a set of products that it, it really isn't, it really isn't important this way. It's going to be just continued, we've got a new thing that's coming out. So you'd have to analyze it on a spec, you know, very fact specific situation. And then you'd have to look at, all right, if you're gonna, you know, if we're going to, if a retailer is gonna go and they're gonna liquidate these products or they're gonna clear them out, you know, is that something we're really trying to hold price and map online? How, how big, how much volume is that gonna be? What sort of impact? And you have to always assess like, okay, if I went to that retailer and I said, no, I wanna buy those back, or I wanna put a prohibition on you clearing those items, okay, is the burden or cost of doing that, how does that compare to the impact that's gonna have on the brand? And you gotta make those judgment calls that you can, that you can in doing that. Um, you know, same thing with like, you know, this, limited, li you know, this, this question about limiting distribution um, and exposure to a new brand. Again, you gotta weigh sort of, a lot of times limiting distribution, it depends what that what we mean by limiting distribution. If we're talking about limiting distribution on Amazon, you know, that doesn't really have an impact on limiting because it's a vertical channel. And so if you got one seller or you got 10 sellers, that doesn't really impact the exposure of your particular product. If you're talking about, you know, having sellers in different regions and that's important to get it to your end consumers. And yeah, you, you don't need to limit it down to one or two distributors in, in, in necessarily that case. So there is a you know, channel management strategy that you have to think of your brand. How do I reach, you know, we have, you, know, you heard Denise Zamuda on our team, she's a channel management expert. I mean, you gotta think about how do I get my products in the end consumer's hands? What are the best ways to do that? And distribute your products proportionally. And we have a lot of brands that have thousand distributors and you know they still are able to get control of their sales on products online um so i don't think you necessarily have to have to always live you don't have to limit it down to a point that you're not getting the products and the exposure that you want it you know in order to get in order to get control 
control at the end of the day. But I, you know, I, I do think that for a lot of brands, there's just a process too that you have to go through. I mean, I, the more, when I first started off in this, I, I used to say, I used to think to myself a lot, like, you know, this brand's not really doing everything up front that I think they should be doing in order to get control. So I don't know if I want to really want to work with them. I mean, you know, the policy, they're just putting this policy in place. They want me to sling a bunch of C&D letters. I think they should think about changing their incentives. I think they should think about changing their promotional strategy. But as I've gone on more and just worked with so many brands over the years, what I've seen is that a lot of times things have to be done in steps and, and then trust has to be built up. You know, we have to show the brand a lot of times that look, let's put in this base policy, let's do some basic enforcement and show we're gonna move your ASP maybe from $50, $50 below map to $20 below map. And in doing that, you're not, you know, you're not gonna experience a volume loss in sales and you're actually gonna start to see some happier retailers and distributors and you're gonna experience some, some good experiences, increased sales over there. Once you show them some positive results and they start to see the benefits of control, now they really trust us. And now they say, well, how do we get that last 20%? Well, let's start to look at, at this point, maybe we've, you know, our root cost team has figured out that it's actually, you know, people are buying directly on this promotion you're running on your website. And why don't we stop that two for one promotion? We can get you that last, that last little bit. So I think there's, what I've realized more and more as I've gone along in this is there's a journey and trust you build up. You don't always have to go from no control to all the control levers. Um, and that a lot of times you can start with certain foundational things, really improve where the brand's at and then kind of get there, get there over time, you know, all along kind of thinking about, you know, what is, what's that, you know, we have, we have, we have clients a lot that say, if you ask me to really vet who I'm selling to, that's like McDonald's taking away their Big Mac. We're a direct selling company. We sell to every single person with no, with, 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 with hardly any vetting. And I'm like, well, you're, we'll be doing enforcement forever for you. And they're like, yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's the way they're operating their business. Other brands say, you know what? We want to get agreements with everybody, change our incentives. We want to stop our promotions and get it. And, and basically cut down on our enforcement budget. Okay. And so I do think you just kind of got to figure out you know, what is your optimal distribution and then kind of wrap the controls around that that makes sense. 